now. This is my mom. Her, her awesome mom. Her awesome mom. Okay, so just so you guys know, my mom does not like to be on camera, so I talked her into it today because she's amazing, and you guys have asked to see her. Plus, we are doing slow, slow, what are they called? Slow cooker meals? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do freezer crock pot meals. This is like super easy, you probably already know. So I'm gonna share five really easy chicken things that you can put together really fast, throw them in your freezer and pull them out when you need them. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Yes. Brand new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button so you guys don't miss future videos my mom is here for added entertainment value so if you guys have questions for my mom will you guys comment below and ask her um, a lot of you wanted to ask her questions maybe you want to get like embarrassing stories about me I don't really know well since it's October I do have one embarrassing story oh we're starting off the video with an embarrassing story okay I made her the most adorable witch outfit when she was like three and she fell on the floor crying because witches weren't pretty. <laughs> I don't even remember that. I don't even remember that. She didn't want to wear that outfit. So note to self, we were always pretty after that. Pretty Halloween costumes? Yeah, mermaids, you know, stuff like Cheerleaders. that. Cheerleaders. Cheerleaders, yeah. Only pretty things, so that's yeah, funny. Yeah, no witches. All right. Either. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, below, I'm gonna have all the recipes listed below in the YouTube description for you guys. Um, we're gonna do quick crock pot information for you, pretty much. Um, I don't know if you guys have done freezer crock pot meals. Have you guys done those before? I feel like they're super easy because you can just take one day or even like an hour and prepare like a whole bunch. I know I've been able to do about 20 different frozen crock pot meals in like about an hour. So then I have 20 meals just waiting for me and I can just throw them in the crock pot and walk away. I know the Instant Pot's like a cool thing right now, um, but and I'm sure you can use all these in, the, in an Instant Pot as well. Yeah, I've got one. You, you totally could. But I don't know. People still use crock pots, and I know not everyone has an Instant Pot, right? So we're going to do freezer crock pot meals. I'm going to share some of my tips first. So one of the first things that I do is I actually put all my food in a slow cooker liner. Have you used one of those, Mom? I have. Do you like them? Well, just know that maybe it's wise to like... Uh, you know, tie a knot in the top or restrict the top because sometimes the stuff comes up and over and out of the plastic. Yeah. So if you can seal the top somehow, I've had that happen. You must fill your bags really full of stuff. Yeah. That's because my mom invites everyone for Sunday dinner, that's why. Okay, so this is how it works pretty much. And you basically would put all of your food in it that you want to freeze. None of the food will stick to it, which is why I like it. And then you put it in here and then put it on your crock pot. But what's even better is that we put all of our frozen, all of our stuff in here we wanna freeze, then we take our freezer bag and put it in, then I can write on the outside of the freezer bag, and I don't, it just works really well because nothing sticks to each other. I feel like sometimes if you put like all of your freezer, all of your products in the Ziploc bag, everything sticks to the Ziploc bag, and then you can't put the Ziploc bag in here because that would not work. So that's what we're doing. So let's start with the first recipe, yeah? Okay, so this is a recipe. Um, that my mom has had for forever. Yeah. Do you remember the chicken with, there's two versions, one with ranch, one with like ranch and yeah. one with like Italian. Right. Right? I think they both taste great. Okay, so let's open up our chicken. By the way, this is my most favorite chicken in the entire world. It's always tender, no matter how you cook it. Yeah, so it's Foster Farms. It's thin sliced chicken breast. I get it at Costco. Um, they have like regular sized chicken breasts as well. I like the thin. Um, they take less to cook because they're not as thick. Um, and I'm kind of like a chicken snob. So if you're a chicken snob or can't find a chicken you like, this is the one that I really do like. Or scissors that you don't like. <laughs> we only have we only have kid scissors here at my house. <laughs> Nothing works. So we're gonna put in chicken breast. Depending on how big your family is, you're obviously gonna change how much you put in. I would say typically about three to four chicken breasts and everything that I'm gonna show you guys. My kids will eat like a half to a fourth of a chicken breast with other things, right? Because you usually have a side like a rice or potatoes with whatever we're making. So we are going to put in our chicken. So we're just gonna throw them in. You wanna help me with this? Yes, I will help you with this. Okay, and then we're going to, that's that simple. And then we're gonna put in our cream of chicken. Now remember you guys can buy like the off brands too. It doesn't have to be the store. It doesn't have to be like the name brand. So these were um, a whole dollar cheaper than 
than the Campbell's version, which is why I bought them. And then with this recipe, you can make it two different ways. You can either put in the ranch packets, um, like a spicy packet, or you can put in a, like an Italian packet. I really like the zesty Italian packet. Hey, okay, that's the one I got. Okay, lucky then. And you can serve this over rice, you can serve it over boiled potatoes. Those are the only ways you've had it, right? Yeah, okay. So like I said, like this is really, really easy, and you can make like a fun time out of this. Did you put into it already? I did. Cream I cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Um, you can even make this be like a fun thing where you invite like girlfriends over and you guys all bring ingredients and you just do something really fun and put them all together. And you could make you can make five of these. You can make ten of these or five of each of the recipes I'm talking about, and then you'll have all these freezer meals in your freezer that you can just throw in your crock pot um, and have dinner made. It's also nice to know that these kind of dump recipes, you don't have to stir it up or anything. It's not, about an hour before you're going to serve it. You just let it cook. Okay, so this is it. Everything is in here. Crazy, right? So now we're going to take our Ziploc bag and we're going to put it in our Ziploc bag. And then this is where you're going to write on the outside of the bag. But typically, I'd probably write out um, beforehand. Some so of you may be wondering how I got the name Melina to name this cute daughter of mine. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. How many think you know? Um, I think you told me that a friend's name, daughter's name was Malia, and it's Hawaiian. No, oh. actually. You've lied to me all these years? I have. There was this super cute Elias missionary in my mission when I lived in Chicago with my mom and dad. I mean, he was so cute. Hi, Elder Mason, if you're watching this. <laughs> and we wrote each other while we were on our mission, and his sister named his daughter, her daughter, Malia. Um, I decided to spell it different, and unbeknownst to me, it's in the Bible. It is in the Bible, in the Old Testament, but I think it was a dude's name, but it's spelled exactly the same way. Yeah. So that's cool. So I'm just writing the outside of my bag, creamy Italian chicken, so I know what it is. You probably know by looking, but you never know if it's in the freezer. On the outside of a bag, I will also put how long to cook it for, and if I have to add anything after this is cooked. So some of the recipes we're talking about, like it'll say, add this after it's cooked for it's four to six hours. So we're gonna cook this. All the recipes I typically do high on uh, high on four hours, but you can also do them low from, four, from six to eight hours, depending on your crock pot. And remember, all crock pots are totally different. So, done. Ta-da! Isn't that so amazing? Okay, so that's one recipe. Really, really good, we like that. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is a chicken taco recipe. So you guys can put these on top of like crushed chips, we open that, or you can put them actually in tacos, soft or hard tacos, I mean, tostadas, however you wanna do it, but it's just another easy dump recipe. There you go. There we go. Okay, we need onion, we need a can of corn. So we're putting in one white onion chopped, and like I said, <laughs> didn't want to chop mine, so I bought it chopped. Lazy, yes, I know. Um, we're gonna pour that in. Do you keep the juice, Malia? Um, no juice. No juice. No juice. Excuse me. Honey. <laughs> we're also gonna put in diced tomatoes and green chilies, and we're gonna put in black beans too. Do you keep the juice of the beans, Malia? No, Mom. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you drain those too? Excuse me a minute. I'll go drain these. Hey, this is like a real video, you guys, okay? It's not one of those like overproduced. This is like real life. This is what would happen if you were really making these at home. Okay, so we have green tomato, green, sorry, diced tomatoes and green chilies. Um, I'm leaving the juice in that one because I feel like it's kind of the base of the whole meal. Like it has the, the tomato e base. Um, and then we have taco seasoning mix. Doesn't matter what brand it is, that's it. You guys could also, instead of using chicken, you guys could easily use beef or pork or whatever you wanted. But I want to make this easy, make all of the recipes chicken because it's easier to buy one bag of chicken and more cost effective to do all of your chicken meals together versus having different meats. It just makes it go faster too. So now we have all of our beautiful crock pot meal in here. Oh, let's write on the outside of the bag. And typically that works better. So I'm gonna write on the outside. Okay, so I wrote on the outside taco chicken, high four hours, and then we're gonna put it in. Some of you may want to know is what was Malia like as a child? Oh gosh. Malia uh, is part of the marriage contract. And then I have a family of four. So really I have five kids, but Malia's my only child, and then I have a family of four. 
Have you never heard me say that Well, before? I have, but I haven't, have you, haven't heard you put it like as a married contract. What does that mean? Well, people? all the decisions we ever made, Malia helped us make. Where should we go on vacation? What should we do? This, that, and the other. Malia always had an opinion, and I appreciated your opinion. So basically, there's Malia and a family of four. Yeah, my mom's joke, she has two families. Like, she really does have, like, I'm an only child, and then she has four other kids. Which makes me sound like super... <laughs> she I don't even know is so her. much older than the rest of them by, like, five school years and was always mature and always could make good decisions. I never had to help you do your homework. Your I was in charge a lot, that's true. I really was. And ironically, her daughter, Devin, guess what she wants to be when she grows up? In charge. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's right. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Most kids ask, say like, they want to be, you know, like a fireman or a police officer or a doctor. I said, what do you want to be when she grows up? She goes, in charge. Yes. That's, she doesn't care what it is, she just wants to be in charge. Yes. So now I have a hands full with a very similar child. All right, next one we're gonna do is stuffing and green bean casserole. Um, all these recipes I just found online, they're easily searchable. So we are gonna do um, our green beans and we're gonna do stuffed top stuffing. So it's kind of like casserole style. I'm actually really excited to try this one because I haven't ever tasted it, but it should be awesome. Okay, so I went with French cut green beans and you want them to be frozen. Um, because I just think they taste better. I don't know what it is about like the like the frozen green beans that are chunky. I feel like they taste waxy. I don't know why. But so anyway, I like these. And I also have the chicken stovetop stuffing because we have chicken, not turkey. You're making the biggest mess. Normally when you guys watch like a YouTube video, it's like all pretty and like you just see them dumping stuff in. But yep, yeah, that's not how we do it. And then we also need three fourths cup of sour cream. Are you gonna guess? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can guess. Okay. You're better at guessing than I am. All right. Um, and then a third cup of water, and then I don't typically put salt and pepper in before it starts cooking because I feel like you can taste it after it's done cooking and see what you need to put in it. Now, obviously, I'm putting in less chicken because I have a smaller family. We have a family of four, and two of them are very small children. So this is probably going to give our family leftovers. But if you guys have more family members, then you're going to put more chicken in your crock pot meals. At my house, uh. Sometimes we had Ala make it up. Okay, let me say that again for those of you who are like, say what now? Ala make it up. <laughs> and one time my kids pulled oh. their money and ordered pizza instead. Did Remember we that? know? <laughs> At my house, when I'd make something new, I would do three, two, or one. I'd set it on the table and ask for their opinion because I don't want to cook something that they don't like. So three means this is delicious. I could eat it morning, noon, and night. Two means it's very good, thank you. One means I'm eating it to be polite. And zero means I am never eating this again. So most of my family recipes are two to threes because I ask for their opinions. Yes. Because I try new things all the time. She does. Like Sunday dinners, there's always something new. We're like, oh my gosh. And then I say know? three, two, or one, then I know. Yeah. Okay, we're moving on to the next one. This is orange chicken. And I'm actually really excited I found this recipe because I feel like it's super easy. And you could have like a really easy Chinese meal at home with just brown rice or regular rice. So we are going to put in um, three-fourths cup of sweet orange marmalade, which is the Smucker's brand. Looks like this. Um, and we're putting in three-fourths of a cup, which is probably about mm, a third of this, which is what I'm guessing. All right, so we're putting in our chicken. Um, you guys see how easy this is? Like literally you could probably, a lot of these recipes, my mom made the point of saying, you don't really need to freeze these because typically you could probably just throw all the stuff and like, because it's a dump recipe, you could just dump it in the morning of and not have to put it in the freezer. But what I'm trying to do is create like some more convenience for you guys. So like if you do this all in like an hour, I mean, this is taking us probably about 20 minutes to do all five of these and we're talking the whole time. But if you did them all together, then I mean, sorry. Then it saves you time later. You can just literally just throw it in the crock pot when you have those crazy, crazy mornings or days when you're like, uh, I don't have time to even think about it. So these are just more for convenience, I feel like. And work really, really good if you need to give a meal to like a family or, let's just do that, family or um, like someone's had a baby in your neighborhood or someone's sick. They're really easy to pull out and say, oh, let's make this for them. Um, and then soy sauce. We need two tablespoons. So we have our orange chicken, high four hours. 
nice and breezy. Okay. Here, get that. <clears throat> this one smells good. It smells good. Okay, done. All right, we have one more recipe that I want to do with you guys, and it's called Chicken Alfredo Tortellini. And um, this one is different because it has noodles in it, which you're not going to put in your frozen crock pot meal. You're going to add them after. So we're going to have to make sure you write that on the outside of your Ziploc bag because you won't remember. So we need um, three and a half cups of Alfredo sauce, which is probably all of that. So these are going to go in their own Ziploc bag with instructions to add at the last 15 minutes. So after you're all done cooking, whatever you're cooking in your frozen crock pot meal, then you put this in for 15 minutes at the timer, and then these will cook without like overcooking or getting soggy. Like, I don't know how you could put these because they're cheese filled toward me. I don't know how you could put those in a crock pot for four hours. Totally ruin them. You know, you can always boil the tortellinis. You know, they only take a few minutes and, you know, set them. They put the sauce in the pot. You know, that's more work. <laughs> That's the whole point of this video is to not have extra work. There's that. See, my mom's old fashioned. She likes to do things old fashioned way. Like, I think. Ooh. Yes. I have lots of gadgets. You do have lots of gadgets. I'm just saying. Okay, so it says chicken tortellini high four hours. Add tortellini last 15 minutes. You think you're going to remember? You won't remember. Like when you pull this out in two months or whenever you pull it out, you're not going to remember. So. And then I'm also going to staple. These, so these are gonna go in their own zip up bag. We open those. Okay, and then when I put these in my actual freezer, I'm gonna staple these together or they tape them together so they know that I these go together. Um, and then you already have instructions and you're ready to go. Alright, so here are our five crock pot meals that we literally put together just while doing this video with you guys. Obviously, if you put together a lot of them at the same time, you could like go through them pretty fast, I feel like. Yeah, Malia, thanks for teaching me something new. <laughs> Appreciate it. Was that like scripted? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, really. Okay. I need to try some of these. Okay, good. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. All the recipes are listed below in the YouTube description, so just click the little triangle in the corner and it'll pop open for you. And that's it. If you guys want to see more of my mom, will you guys comment and let me know? She obviously adds some, some entertainment. <laughs> some entertainment. Oh, were there any other questions that we had? All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you wanna see another crock pot video, we can do some more stuff of this, or maybe Instant Pot, if you guys have an Instant Pot. They're so, awesome. They are awesome, I really like mine. And you like yours too, right? I do, I love it's it. It's fast. Yes. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.